Hello the internet. For years now I've been ending my videos with my own catchphrase, may all your ups and downs be ups. But it occurs to me that I've never actually talked about uh, why I say that at the end of my videos. And now would be a good time. So I'm going to tell you. Way back in the day when I was on the radio, I was on a rock and roll station in California in 1989. And some friends of mine uh, who had recently gotten engaged to be married were tripping on ecstasy one night and they called me up at two o'clock in the morning while I was on the radio to request that I play a song for them, which I did. And, uh, you know, in, in California, uh, back in those days, a lot of times people would say, may all your ups and downs be in bed. And it's, you know, just kind of like a joke when people are first getting together. Anyways, so when they uh, asked me for the song and I played their song, I dedicated it to them on the mic and I said, may all your ups and downs be ups, like that. Because I was kind of just making a joke about the fact they were on ecstasy and uh, I wanted them to think I was going to say in bed because, you know, they were probably going to be shagging later that night and stuff. But I didn't say in bed, I said ups. And I thought it was just really funny at the time, and I didn't really think about the the actual meaning of what I said straight away. But they called me straight back, and uh, probably due to their state of mind at the time, they thought it was like really deep and spiritual and quite meaningful. And upon reflection, I, I suppose you could see it that way, and that's how I came to see it later on. Uh, because, you know... If you're having a great day, your ups are ups. They're good for you. But if you're having a bad day, if something bad happens to you, or if you've made a horrible mistake in your life, those kind of things we tend to think is the downs in our life. But if you can grow from your mistakes, if you can learn from your mistakes and grow, if you can grow from the bad experiences that we have that are unavoidable especially and become a better person because of them, then they aren't necessarily bad for you. They become ups. And that's what the phrase means to me. Now I originally started tagging my videos with that phrase about two months into my video making ex experience on YouTube, uh, which would be spring of 19, or sorry, of 2009. And uh, I did that because a lot of the YouTubers I admired at the time, uh, The Amazing Atheist, uh, Coughlin666 at the time, uh, had taglines. The Amazing Atheist used to say, peace the fuck out at the end of every video, which I thought was pretty clever. And uh, Coughlin used to say, good night and may God be less, which I also thought was pretty clever. So I wanted my own sort of clever tagline on my videos because I wanted to be up there with the big boys, as I saw it at the time. Um, but I think I've said the phrase more than a thousand times now on my YouTube channel. And that being so, I tend to think the words have almost lost any sense of meaning whatsoever. So I'm going to retire the phrase as of right now, unless it has some particular relevance to the topic of the video I'm making at the time, I won't be using that phrase anymore. This will be the last time I say it. Thank you for watching the Got That Funk channel. I really appreciate having an audience to express myself to and to converse with, to bounce ideas off of. YouTube has been a great experience for me and it's sort of an integral part of my life now. I love it. And I want to keep on loving it. So thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.